Hello, welcome to this 365 Days devotional titled Into His Marvelous Light. This is brought to you by a peculiar people with Elizabeth Adebaju as the anchor. This month's theme is My God Who Loves Me. And the focus of these teachings are around the life of Jesus here on earth. What better way to examine God's love for us? than looking into the life of his son who came down and died for us. Join us and be blessed. The Bible text is taken from John chapter 8, verse 12 to 29. Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness, because you will have the light that leads to life. The Pharisees replied, You are making those claims about yourself. Such testimony is not valid. Jesus told them, These claims are valid even though I make them about myself. For I know where I came from and where I am going, but you don't know this about me. You judge me by human standards, but I do not judge anyone. And if I did, my judgment would be correct in every respect because I am not alone. The Father who sent me is with me. Your own law says that if two people agree about something, their witness is accepted as fact. I am one witness and my Father who sent me is the other. Where is your Father? they asked. Jesus answered, since you don't know who I am, you don't know who my father is. If you knew me, you would also know my father. Jesus made this statement while he was teaching in the section of the temple known as the treasury. But he was not arrested because his time had not yet come. Later, Jesus said to them again, I am going away. You will search for me, but you will die in your sin. You cannot come where I am going. The people asked, Is he planning to commit suicide? What does it mean, you cannot come where I am going? Jesus continued, You are from below, I am from above. You belong to this world, I do not. That is why I said that you will die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am who I claim to be, you will die in your sins. Who are you? they demanded. Jesus replied, The one I have always claimed to be. I have much to say about you and much to condemn, but I won't, for I say only what I have heard from the one who sent me, and he is completely truthful. But they still didn't understand that he was talking about his father. So Jesus said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man on the cross, then you will understand that I am He. I do nothing on my own, but say only what the Father taught me. And the one who sent me is with me. He has not deserted me, for I always do what pleases Him. Then many who heard Him say these things believed in Him. The verse of emphasis is verse 12. John 8 verse 12, Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you have the light that leads to life. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. In the scriptures, we see him reiterating this fact, repeating the same thing that I know the way, follow me. I am the way, follow me. Stay in me, you won't get lost. And it might seem like just one of his teachings like every time he says this thing but are you actually taking time to think on 
what he is saying. Here, we saw him mentioning the fact that he knows where he came from. He knows where he is going. Can can we say that about ourselves? He says, follow me. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness. He is the only one that has come to show us the way in this world that is void and just in utter darkness. He came the bright shining light, paving the way through the total darkness. And we just need to follow him wherever he's going to the end and we'll be fine. But if you don't believe that he is the light, if you don't believe that he knows where he's going, if you don't believe that he can lead you out of that darkness and you miss the point where he passes you, there won't be anywhere to find him anymore because no one is coming after him to show you the way. There's nobody coming with another bright light that you can follow. He's the only light in this darkness. He's the only light that has been given to us to lead us aright. He says if he goes and we are left behind in the darkness, there's no other salvation for us. You will die in that darkness. He's not the one condemning us to death. He's giving us a way out of death and it's left to us to actually follow the light that he has given to us. He says, no matter how Jesus tries to describe his father, if you don't know Jesus himself, you cannot know the father. He said it in today's Bible passage when we were asking, where is your father? Who is your father that you're always talking about? He said, since you don't know who I am, you don't know him. Since you don't know who I am, you don't know him. And you might find it that, oh, how will they know who he is? It's not magical. There are people at that point that have said, you are the son of God. It wasn't a a magical um, experience. How would I put it? It wasn't, it wasn't a supernatural revelation, you know, encounter that opened those people's eyes they believed what jesus was saying they could identify him as what what he actually really stood for and that separated them from the rest of the people who were still lost he says if you know me then you will know who my father is i want to ask you today do you know who jesus is if jesus asks you who do you say i am can you can can you actually identify him that you are the savior of the world you are, you are the son of god you are the one who died to save mankind you are the one who did this for us because you love us so much do you believe jesus for who he is do you do you recognize him for who he is he says and the one who sent him is with him. God didn't desert him. For he always did what pleases God. For he always did what pleases God. For he always does what pleases God. And he continues to do what pleases God. That should be our testimony. That should be the kind of life that we live. For we always do what pleases him. The one who sent us is always with us. the sacrifice you did on the cross for us we say thank you for this new life that you have given to us in you we say thank you lord we do not take any of these things for granted and we ask that you help us 
to continue to remain in you, to continue to please you with our lives, to continue to do your will every day, every time, in Jesus' name, everywhere we find ourselves, that we will continue to live lives that give glory to your name in every aspect, in Jesus' name. We ask that today will be a glorious day. We ask that only your will will stand in everything that has to do with us. Everywhere we find ourselves in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for listening to this postcard episode. Don't forget to share with as many people as you can. Join us tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye.